evening I would like to go with two three films. Although it's hard to go bilingual English and Urdu, but I would like to respect my sister is here, so uh, Urdu speakers ke liye problem na ho. So maybe apne flow ko chef, I would like to maintain that. Chal Basically, I would like to explore <clears throat> the work of God the Lord has done in my life in the last uh, 19 years of serving Him. So, and then I would like to go with the presentation about uh, the religion in the world, all the things that are happening and what should I know, the challenge we are facing as a church, as a community, as a body of Christ. And then I would like to go two things. So I would like to summarize only one thing, why we have to share the gospel with the non The second part is how we can share the gospel, how we can communicate the gospel with the non -believers. But I think I have now three things. So first I want to go with my journey from Islam to Christianity, from darkness to the light, and from my previous background to the church, and the Christian value of the Lord has given me from the Bible. So here you can see a verse in Arabic, Minasulamate Il and Nur. That's the title of my testimony. He brings them out of darkness into his light. That's a God's grace because although we are living in an ultra modern world and everything is going to be happen in a in a different way, and people are getting away from God. And mostly nations, they are going to a snowy nation. They don't like God. They don't want to have God because they don't need God. Prosperity is there, bread is there, egg is there, milk is there, free medical technology, prosperity, everything are attracting to the people and they're getting away from God. But God is a super being. God is a maker and the creator of this universe. He has a power to raise a wonderful testimony that the, he can attack the intention of the people towards his salvation and his program. So that's the love of God, basically. And you can see my beautiful wife with me. His name is Fazia. You can go next slide, please. Uh, that's all about my early life. And it's not about the early life, but that's my personal testimony. And personal evidence and the testimony always has a value. No one can deny it. For example, if I like to say, God heal me, God give me $10,000, so you cannot deny because he has given to me. That's my version I would like to really tell to the people. So always personal testimony influence the lives as well. So early life, born into a very strong Muslim family as a Muhammad Siddiq, that was my previous name, and uh, uh, brought up with really six Islamic culture and the values and totally I lived 28 years in Islam. I was a good practitioner in Islam, and uh, you can see in slide, then by my father, he was a mosque leader, and by the other Islamic scholar as well. So I got trained well to the Quran, and the teaching, and the history of Islam, and even I have studied the different sects of the Islam, the majorly Sunni, Muslim, Shia Muslim, and then Ahmadi Muslim, and Wahhabi, they call Salafi, Jihadist. So that sort of really training I got. And I think that was a program of God. I lived in Islam 28 years, but on his perfect timing, Lord called me from darkness to the light. That was his program. And it happened with many people. They lived in different background, different faith, different religion, but God has a special program for everyone. Uh, due to that, really Islamic uh, teaching and uh, atmosphere at my family, I got inspired by the passion of jihad to kill the non-believers, to fight against them. So I would like to raise a point, why really Muslim people, my Muslim friends, I would like to say friends because the rest of my family, they are still Muslim. So I don't want to make them my enemy. So I have a love for them. Lord, bring them to the light. So 
we have to go with them and they are our friend their brother and sisters only i am the alone so i accepted jesus but none of my family they accepted because they still are in islam so i have a love for them but it's a wonderful point in the quran why every muslim want to kill and live alone on this planet of earth would you like to guess उर्दू स्पीकर वो क्यों ऐसा चाहते हैं कि हम इस जमीन पर रहें और बाकी सब मर जाए प्रोग्राम फीडबैक इंटेंशन बिहाइंड व्हाई वो क्यों ऐसा चाहते हैं यू हैव टू स्पीक विद मी बिकॉज वी आर रियली वेरी ट्रेडिशनल एंड हैपचुअल टू अरेंज द मीटिंग कन्वेंशन एंड पास्टर इज देयर द स्पीकर इज देयर ही वुड लाइक टू स्पीक एंड प्रे एंड प्लेस but i want to see your contribution as well so bataiye ki kyun why why they want to live on they in this earth and they want to kill and remove everything to dominate to dominate but there are a certain reason in the quran i would like to highlight the verse from the quran and that's the that's that's the way actually they feel themselves like a very supreme being in this world and no one else has the respect or respect in the protocol and the status to live but they are the only people and it's in the quran surah number 2 and verse number 179 walakum fil qisasi hayatun and there is a life for you in retaliation and there is a life for you in revenge and there is another verse in the quran inna dina indallahi alislam only perfect ultimate and the most favorite religion in the eyes of allah is islam that's the way of domination that's the their supremacy in their pet and that's the way they want to capture and make the people slaves and hovering the flag of islam everywhere so these are the two reason because there is no forgiveness in the quran and this is a clear cut verse verse in the quran walakum fil qisas hayatun you have a life in revenge if you take the revenge it's mean you can survive don't spare your enemies but see the program of the calvary and jesus christ jesus said pray for your enemy this is a very special program lord has given this is the nature of god to love and save the humanity we should aware get aware as a christian as a church because we are very humble people the values are there in the gospel and you know if you believe in a different gods that god's teaching will affect your life for example if your god is a kind nature ultimately you will act as a kind person if your god is a cruel and a very tough god he will give you the same commandment go and kill them but you know the nature of our god the lord he has laid his life on cross for many for others and our life should be for the others as well <coughs> christian being to live on this life for other people to serve them to be humble to welcome them but it's a nature of islam that's why they want to capture that's why they want to dominate the other people and the religion and the sect as well so that was my really passion to go into the forces and i decided to join pakistan air force in 1991 and 1993 i got as a permanent staff so i decided to marry and then my parents arranged a girl for me and you look at the muslim wedding this is a different style there is no harmony there is no there really is love you can see in this slide because my wife is looking downward and i'm looking upward so i would like to really challenge you many people they are attracting towards islam but honestly they don't know about islam even they don't know islam what is islam and i met couple of people they decided and especially the girls and the ladies they decided to go to mud islam and after that after 6 month 1 year they like to chase them you are unholy it's a lot of problem for them but islam is a worst type of tunnel 
you can go but you cannot get back it's an act of apostasy and you will be infidel after accepting islam if you want to get back there is no freedom no returning back and the punishment is only killing but that's why i was really giving a good presentation in niagara falls and the people who are white the canadian i said would you like to imagine so they they don't have any any feeling for the islam because they never ever gone through the situation that's why it's a alarming situation once they will be in the power they will not give you the any human rights they will make you slaves and there are three slogans in the islam number one they would like to invite you accept islam no i want to be live as a christian okay give us money because they want to promote them they want to settle them and if you are unable to pay the money then the final punishment is qatal ta hum kill them there is no more life 1994 i got married i went for zia and uh, in church at least you can see your wife but when the mulla and the scholar was really solemnizing my marriage so she was sitting in another room i was sitting in another room so he was asking okay would you like to accept fozia yes 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 three time and then he asked me and he asked her and there was a marriage but one thing happened when i got married i was planning to go to wartihar but my wife stopped me she she asked me okay why you want to go to wartihar i said i will go in jana and i will get uh, 72 virgins in in, in the paradise <laughs> and she said i'm beautiful my for so why you want to kill your life and kill the other people so that's a total deception and jesus answered there will be no marriage the people will live and worship their god like angels it's a 100% different aspect from the bible to the quran so who will tell to the people here the people are innocent the people are very kind they like to well oh no there is no problem with islam but islam is a full of problem and i hope and i believe through my conversation today if you can catch the fire and the burden you can go to the people in this way you can you can contribute well in america in the west if you are going to make people peaceful because your scanning machine your technology nothing can stop them because they are very much ready to die only good news can stop them because they are living in frustration they are living in darkness their eyes are blind they cannot see the reality but lord has commissioned us to make their open eyes open to make them aware about the program of god so i had a desire to go and kill the non believers but my my wife actually stopped me said no don't go to war the jihad but live with me because we need you married so in the life okay <laughs> a good wife can save you from the evil amen so try to find a good wife <laughs> So God's love towards a radical Muslim and his family. How God can really save the lives? God has a special purpose for every single life on this earth. But the programs and the pathway can be different. So how I got in contact with the Christian world? You know, in my childhood when I was studying in grade eight. So one day I saw at an ad in a newspaper about the Bible correspondence school. about the torah and the gospel but i got alert because they mentioned in the ad you can really take a free study from this institute about the bible but when i read that i got shocked because it's in the quran in my hand and quran claim this is the book zalik al kitab ul ayr wa fi dil al muttaqi this is a second surah and uh, verse number 2 this is the book there is no doubt in it So when I read that ad, so I got shocked. When we have the Quran, why should we study the Bible? That's the problem with every Muslim. If you like to invite them, they will they will say no. We don't want to read the Bible. Who trained them? Can you guess? 
हेलो ये पेरेंट्स बट बट आवर पेरेंट्स आर डूइंग नथिंग हम टी डम टी दिस एंड दैट हाय बाय और बर्थडेज दिस दैट एंड दैट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू रिली डिस्ट्रॉय आवर सेल्स what is the first institution for a child the lap of his or her mother and their parents telling well that's why i got shocked because when we have the quran why we should read the bible but praise the lord lord had a wonderful plan i wrote a letter to them i would like to summarize and i i asked them please send me your bible the religious book because my father told me bible is not from the god is a corrupted one book so that's the plan of devil actually he want to people put away from the bible and the church and they like to give a voice picture of the church they like to train and tell their children don't go to the church because they are drinking alcohol they are having a really uh, kiss and the hug and the young girls and boys they like to mingle up in the church there is no worship of the god but it's a fun inside the churches that's why the mostly muslim they don't want to come to inside the church because somebody has give them a very bad picture so who will bring them in the church hello please who is speak who will bring them in the church how many you brought today because because we 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 have a good possession on our god because oh jesus is our lord we are his people that sort of philosophy we have but he is not our national god he is the god of all the nations we are dealing people like a gentiles like a jewish people they like to treat the other people like a animal so we have the same thinking we have a same thoughts in our mind oh no there is no need to touch no we are holy we are safe but what about the others jesus came to the world to save the others but we like to serve the good people hello brother afaq is very good christian i would like to go to his place we will have a worship together meal together oh praise the lord hallelujah and that's all am i right and then we like to go to pastor christopher oh he is a man of god praise the lord wonderful family good christian family is there saved there like in a good church but why jesus came to this world now oh, praise the lord luke 1910 jesus came to this world to seek and save the best people some people are saying yes <laughs> because they don't have idea about luke 19:10 it's written jesus came to the world to seek and save the lost one not the best but the worst people why we are looking why we are seeking the good people in churches if sometime really like a muslim like to come in the church we love like to really because this is a very strange thing it's not our normal routine but anyhow they didn't send me the holy bible can you imagine what type of terror the people have in different countries we are good enough we are so blessed we are the privileged people here you are enjoying the rights but what about the sudan what about the afghanistan what about in, in iran pakistan and the other parts of the world you cannot carry the gospel I went to Afghanistan, Kabul in 2005. I have been invited by SNI Shelter Now International. It's a wonderful organization. Actually, three Taliban they accepted our Lord Jesus Christ in Kabul, and they arranged a meeting to encourage them because I had the same background. So they invited me there, but they advised me especially don't carry the gospel. I said why? They said not put in the boot because if you carry the gospel, and if they ask you. Are you Christian? Do you have the Bible? They will kill you. Should we laugh or cry? Because people are paying the price for their faith, and, and we are all okay. We are good because there is no harm, no tension for us. But still, we are just 
sitting and enjoying our life. We don't care for the others. Even prayer is in our hand. We can pray, but we are not feeling the same persecution. That's why we are not praying. And we like to say in a fashionable way, oh, we are a body of Christ. We are one body. If you are one body, at least you can pray for them. But we are not praying because egg and bread is in our fridge, so there is no need to pray. Because we are okay. We are so blessed. But Jesus came for the seek and the save the lost for people. And they didn't send me the Bible, but finally they sent me the literature. I want to really make it short and I done that course. They sent me the certificate. You can see the Bible and the Quran here. These two books has a greater influence about their followers. The 125 billion people, they like to follow Quran. Even more than that. And the 235 billion people, they like to follow Bible. This means books have their influences. The greater effect on the followers' life. And I done the course, but that time, please go ahead. My brother came to me and he got my certificate from the Christian Institute. He asked me, why you have done this course? I was a child really in eighth class. I said, just for knowledge I've done. I said, no, you will go to the hell. See the severity of this, see the teaching, see the mentality of every Muslim parents. That's why they like to live in Pakistan. They like to come here. And even in Pakistan, they are not good Muslim, but they want to make you Muslim here. What's the problem? Problem is the training. And honestly, honestly, we are not training our children. We are living in a hi-fi or Wi-Fi zone. <laughs> but, praise the Lord, I have done a comparative study. And as a total, in July 1998, I decided to accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior because I thought I could make truth in Bible and Jesus Christ. And Lord turned my life, changed my life from Muhammad Sadiq to Christ. Do you believe the word of God can change your life? Yes. So I'm the miracle of God because Muslim people like to say my father was in same mentality the Bible had changed. But this change Bible changed my life. Hallelujah. And we can see many people on this path, if we are ready to go for Jesus, at least that institute has sent me the Bible. So that was the first content. You can select, you can choose what you want to do. Jesus has done maximum. Are you ready to do the minimum? Hello? Yes. yes. Jesus has done the maximum. Are you ready to do minimum? Yes. No, this is not a good way. I would like to listen. You have to say, we are ready to do maximum. This is our turn to bless his holy name. But I mean, but I think we soon you never ever heard this type of things. Oh, Pastor, what type of pastor you brought here? He should really speak and praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But what? We don't know. Taliya, taliya, clap, clap. Give a big hand, man of God. That sort of activities we are doing in the churches. Our people are empty. They don't know anything. They don't want to open the Bible, frankly. If sometime you give the assignment, please show this reference. <laughs> Might be the New Testament reference they would like to see in the Old Testament. That's the tree in front of my house. And Fozia is living in Pakistani desk. It's a Canterbury Road. And when I got convert, and share my conversation with the wife. There was a problem. After one year, even one year, until one year, I hide myself because I was scared from my wife. How many husbands are scared from the wives? <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> they are already scared. Oh, they are fully scared. <laughs> But praise the Lord, whenever you feel pressure in your life, the Holy Spirit will give you the strength and the power to speak out. People are 
living under compulsion, but still there is a sovereign power. It will come from the heaven. No government, no authority can stop the power of the Holy Spirit. One day I was coming to the home on my way back to home, and Lord Spirit touched my heart. Would you like to share your testimony with your wife? The first response, no. <clears throat> because she will share with the other Muslims, they will kill me. So that is a problem everywhere. That is ruling. And in Islam, Islam called the fear, the state of fear. Everything is a fearful and everything is a comprises on the fear. You can see the fear of death, fear of grave, fear of Muhammad, fear of Allah, fear of saints. Everywhere is a fear and fear. But praise the Lord, I spoke to my wife and asked, who is sitting in front of you? She said, you are my husband. What's my name? Your name is Muhammad Sadiq. But praise the Lord, I declared the truth. I said, no, from the last one year, I'm not more Muslim. I'm Christian now. I accepted Lord Jesus Christ one year ago. So my name is now Sadiq Paul in Christ. And the problem happened. She said, okay, I need divorce, talaq. And you will go to the hell now because you are unholy, you are kafir, you are infidel. And I will go to that. So there is no more partnership, no more relationship. Your plates, mug, and cup is there because you cannot touch our daily plates and the cups. So that's the problem. That's the fear for every Muslim. And they don't know how to share their own circumstances with the other people because they live in a fear. If you like to ask a police, two Muslims come to the church, they will not come together. They like to ask you, no, please, I'm not coming because this guy is going to the church as well. Why? Because there's no freedom in Islam. You cannot make your own decisions. That's why I like to go with the Maristi style one-on-one, -on -one. not the collective because they like to feel embarrassed. They don't want to come. Every time they feel fear. But after that, Fozia got really angry and she informed my father, and my father got heart attack at the spot, and after three months, he passed away. So every good believer has to pay the price for his faith. But we sometimes, we are not really valuing the faith because we didn't pay anything back to God. So that was the first sacrifice happened in my family, my kindest father passed away due to my conversion. But I was really praying to the Lord and God, and finally one day Fauzi got convinced. She said, I would like to your, listen to your research from the Quran and the Bible. That's my method to teach now the other Muslim. And that night, when I was really teaching her, and I was guiding her from the Quran, the supremacy of Jesus, the Lord has done a wonderful things in her life. Finally, after 45 minutes, she started crying, and she said, Put me in the feet of your Jesus. I cannot live without Jesus. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Lord. Praise Amen. God. And that night, she acknowledged and accepted Lord Jesus as her personal Savior. So that was the January 2000. And in February 2000, I wrote a booklet in Pakistan that was against the code of conduct in the armed forces. And finally, you can see me behind the bar. So I was not really a criminal person, I was not a robber, I was not a thief. I was a good soldier, I was a good armored person, but what was my crime? To accept Jesus. But it's not like America. You can be, might be Hindu and Sikh and Muslim. There is no fear for you. But it's a special circumstances in the Islamic countries. That's why if you like to share your testimony here, it might be our white brother and sister, they cannot imagine what's happening inside. Because they never experienced this type of things. This is a very intensive situation in a certain Islamic country. I was behind the bar, and finally they arrested me, put me there, and they announced a district court martial for me. So court martial is a kind of court in the armed forces, and it's not easy to go through the court martial. Because they wanted to kill me, they wanted to punish me, and they said, you have burned our Holy Quran. It's an easy trap to kill any 
poor Christian and put behind the bar and for the death punishment as well. That sort of really situation was with me. But your God will not leave you alone. One thing remember. And you can see here, this miracle happened in the jail time when I was really under pressure, when I was really fully grieved and scared from the death from their punishment. At the same time, I was praying 70 July 2000 and Lord spoke to me. Do you believe that Lord can speak to you? Yes. Amen, yes. Have you ever experienced that type of thing? Yes. No, but you can ask, you can pray for Lord. And Lord spoke to me, they cannot harm you. I will save you from their hand. And it happened in this 21st century. Why Lord is raising people from the other religion, they can testify his power. They can manifest really his glory and the wonderful things the Lord is doing in your lives. So that's, that's the program of God. And Lord is raising people and is giving the courage to them, go ahead and share my word with other people. That they can attract towards the Lord. And the same time they can praise and worship him. And finally after the court martial, I got released and dismissed from the Air Force. Although I served 14 years in Pakistan Air Force, but they kicked me out without giving me any single benefit from the service. The test and trials will be there if you like to. For example, you can say me, okay, Pastor, you are sharing a lot of things with us. This thing happened with you. You have been behind the bar and this thing, but nothing has happened until now with us. Can you can you feel why nothing has happened with you and the many things happened to me? What's the difference? We are born Christian. There are two realm. There are two realm. Realm of God and the realm of devil. So when we are not going to touch and chase him, so he will not harm you. So we should really think where we live. And what kind of faith we have? If you want to go in his territory, he would like to chase you, your prosperity, your family, your position. He will put you in the test and trial. But that's why we are living in a comfortable zone. Praise Lord, hallelujah, awesome God. Yes, he is awesome God. But why you are not taking this awesome God to the other people? Tell them every day you are experiencing his awesomeness only. And bless me, bless me, bless me. No, you have to bless the other. What's the commandment for the Abraham? God said to Abraham, bless to the nation, bless to the other. You can be the source of blessing. But we are selfish people. We like to contain all the blessing every time. Give us more, give us more. Why did you will burst one day? <laughs> Uh, early ministry, uh, that's why family here, praise the Lord. I started really the preaching and evangelized the people from my own family. My first disciple was my wife. It's sometimes very good to preach in a Qatar. Oh, please, Pastor Christopher, send me in Qatar as a missionary. Okay? What you will do there? Oh, I will really live high five with the gospel and this and that. Achha. Okay, what about the Virginia? What about your own wife? No, no. <laughs> because people know your character. People know your life. It's very hard to face our own people in Uttar Pradesh, in India, in Punjab. Because you have to face them. That's why we like to really make a fraud. Okay, no, it's very tough here. But God will give you that. That's the power praise the Lord when I evangelize and my family praise the Lord was there but not my family, my in-laws family, they were 11 members and praise the Lord within the evangelism of three years, finally 14th November 2003 they all 11 members, they accepted our Lord Jesus Christ now you can say see that young man, he's my brother-in-law he was a Muslim, he's a good really and wonderful man of God now he's a choir leader in back in my church is going to be our youth pastor next year. So th this is this is a living miracle happening in the lives of the people. You can see the rest of family member, my mother-in-law is there. And this lady, she is my sister-in-law, she is a prayer leader. 
back in my church. For the people are coming to Christ and they are dedicating their life. Their commitment is up on a highest level. And when you will listen and see these people in a worship time in a church, you will get amazed. The Lord has touched their heart and the life. And now they are living for the Lord. Please. Official acceptance. When you are available for God, God will make you a history. And our God is a history maker. And his people can be history maker. But when, when you are ready to go into the fire, not out of the fire, God will put you there. God will put you in the den of lions. God will allow the situation. Go ahead. In the prison, in the jail. But God will break the doors. Lord will open the doors. Where? Inside the situation, outside the situation? Inside. Are you ready to go inside the situation? When? When? The situation is here in Virginia. I think might be you have more than 100,000 lost one people here. Have you this idea or not? More than 100,000. So how many people are ready to go into the situation? To meet them, to greet them, to invite them, to share Jesus with them. They will reject you, but at the same time, our Lord will be with you and he has commissioned us. But praise the Lord, I have been uh, gone through the suffering and everything, but Lord made the history in Islamic Pakistan Finally, I have been accepted and acknowledged as a first official and the legal convert in Islamic Pakistan. It never ever happened and they documented me and they issued a restricted security device. It's a high profile document in the Pakistan area. And within their authority, they changed my name and they changed my religion as well. And it's the entry there, the change of religion, corporate tech, Sadiq, Pak, so and so, change of his religion from Islam to Christianity. And it, it happened with authority. And finally, they referred this letter to the civil government with my full testimony. Wow. This guy was Muhammad Sadiq, changed the religion, and we have taken the action, and the record is making correct. Now his name is Sadiq Paul in Christ. The biodata of him and his family has given below according to service documents for computerized national identity card from Nadara Punjab the Hall. The order to the civil government. Wow. And praise God, it's not happened really secretly under the table, but these documents went to them with a full testimony and Lord made the history. And that's the greatest privilege for me. I don't know when it happened, will happen again. But I'm the really much more privileged person in the Lord. Lord made the history in Islam. I went to Australia, people asked me, it's unbelievable. But I said, that's the power of my God. He is in control and he can do each and everything. He's a sovereign God. Do you believe that, Prince Lord? Amen? Amen. So that's the acceptance. Officially, the God made a record there. And our calling, what should be our calling? We knew God has called us into light for a greater purpose. What is the purpose? If we are enlightened now, we have the light. What's our purpose? What's the property of light? What's the tendency of light? Light always shines in the darkness. Would you like to remember that? Light always shines in the darkness. Or in the light. Light always shine in the light. So we are the lights, but we like to shine among the lights. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We have to decide, Lord, praise the Lord. I'm light. And Jesus given us the same privilege. He said, I'm the light of the world. You are the light of the world. You're the salt of the earth. Go and make the people's life good and the salty and the tasty and the wonderful. So God only is that divine purpose in 2007 when he gave us a vision to build this
house in Islamic Pakistan and praise the Lord has given me a privilege to build the first converted church in the land of Islamic Pakistan. That's a beautiful church in uh, 28 Dilksha Kaluni. Next person. You can see it's a wonderful church. Gate for nations. Obviously, Jesus is a gate for all nations. So I gave a simple name. I want to really save myself from the friction of the church. And this denomination, this no. I, I came straight from Islam to Christ. And Christ is my destination. And the word is in my hand. That's sufficient for me. If I belong to Christ, I'm a believer. But if Christ is not in my life, I'm not. That's why I give a very simple name, fulfilling the vision and saying, amen to the vision. We by faith bought a piece of land and then built a church there. And I established a global vision school for evangelism and mission. You can see very clear. I never ever hide my faith. It doesn't matter I was in Pakistan, I'm in Australia, I'm in America, because every government come under the feet of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We are under, we are ready to obey the government in administration, but by faith, we are sovereign to proclaim his gospel, because God made us like that. So praise God, this is the church where Christian, by birth Christian, and the corner people, they like to worship. Whenever you go to Pakistan, please try to visit my church. My team will welcome you and the rest of the team. Yes, people are indicating you. Yes. I know Samantha will be there. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, what's a great commission? And great commission a part of our life. Is it true? Do you have the great commission in your life? And what's a great commission? Are we spreading the gospel or are we spreading the spray? The gospel should be preached. And praise the Lord. The Lord has commissioned us. Every single Christian is ready. Should be ready and go to the people who the lost one. And we have to teach them. We have to encourage them. We have to motivate them. To the ministry we encourage all other believers to do the same. We are here and you, be, you can be the partner with us. You can be the friend with us. So, the Lord will give you the numerous opportunities where you can explore your faith. I have been invited in Sydney University 2013 and there were 500 students there. From the different nationalities, the background is a very historical university. And at the end, you can see the Muslim students, they are from Egypt, Lebanon, Syria, and the other parts of the world. They ask me special question, why you left our Islam? So I provided the reason, not from the Bible, but from their Quran. It's more convenient for them to listen from the Quran. They cannot deny the Quran. You can see the same Quran in my hand, and I gave a good logic. These are the things in the Quran. That's why I love Quran, Islam, and Muhammad. And I accept it. I'm very much open about my faith. Because if your faith statement is not clear, there's no benefit for you. Lord will not favor you. So praise God. That happened in that day. And you can see Mullah is here. Sometimes we like to, these are the hijab party. You can see many women in the podcast. And I really arranged the breaking of fast, Ramadan party there, and they came, and then I preached the gospel, praise the Lord. I invited in the church hall, not in the mosque. So, Kalam ke kehta hai ki hume kya karna chahiye, wo tehi tarf tere lekin tu unki tarf. We should stand firmly on the rock. So, there is no ministry like a we like to go and do the ministry like an interfaith, this and that, and sometimes we are going to celebrate the Diwali and the Holy and this and that. No. It's good if we are taking gospel with us. And finally we have to reveal the ultimate truth. There is a salvation. This is the gate to the heaven. And it is Jesus Christ. And 
and praise the Lord I have done. Then God gave me the privilege to speak in uh, New South Wales Parliament and I address the parliamentarian. The Lord has done a marvelous work in my life. So God will take you up to the end of the heart. This is the promotive action that you will preach the gospel. And this church was closed from the 14 years and church has been established in 1869. And it, its name was the Church of England, but finally uh, Church of uh, Australia in uh, Anglican. They have the management there, but that was closed. And Bishop gave me the really challenge. You would like to put you as a pastor there. And there was no congregation. I said, there is no congregation. What I will do there? But he said, no, this is a challenge. And you know the white people got scared? And they left the place due to the Syrian and Egyptian Muslim families. The Middle Eastern Muslim are there. They are very strong. But praise the Lord. I am living in the rectory of that church until now. So they put me in a dangerous zone. They, they, would, they like to live in a safer zone, but they put me there. No, no, you will be there. I said, okay, praise the Lord. If Lord is with me, who can oppose me? So I did try my best to really restore that church. And already for your knowledge, Three churches has been sold up. And now you can see the beautiful, wonderful mosque Muslim building here. They demolished the church, they are building the mosque. And this is our Christianity. We are not ready to go for Jesus. We are not ready to support. We are not ready to contribute. But still we are waiting for them. Oh Lord, you will change the whole world. And Lord is laughing at us. I have sent you. What are you doing? Is it a good way to, uh, to respond to God? No, Lord, change the whole world. Tell me, please. Is it a good way to respond to God? No, God has sent us already. You go and change the world. George Muller wrote a booklet, God has given us a divine mandate to change the whole world. As we were talking at the lunch time. Oh, you would like to take the guidance from the God. I want to listen from God. God has given you the written material already. This is a documented out from the God. Go and preach the gospel. But anyway, anyway, you can see that conference and you can see Bible about the Quran. That's my faith everywhere. And I preach the message of Calvary and the message of Karbala in their own conference from the Quran and the Bible. And finally people got inspired. So we are not ready to go, but God has taken me in the midst of those people. I'm going there. But would you look like to say, no, this is your ministry, this is your gift. What's your gift then? Would you like to give me a gift? Are you ready to do that or not? If you are ready, then this card is here, or ministry card is here. And you can have a look. If Lord open your heart, you can be a part of Lord will final the soul, win the soul, your reward will be in the heaven. Because this is our kingdom work. This is not my work, but this is a collective work. We all are called out one because we, like you say, we are church. We are body of Christ. You are called out one. You are commissioned and you are sent out one. Every Christian believer should stand and say amen for the purpose and the work of God. So we are quite busy with the other people as well. Uh, Lord will take you the different countries, praise the Lord. I never ever travel from my own pocket. Every time Lord has arranged my everything. So would you like to be like this type of traveler? Free? <laughs> if you want to travel free, praise the Lord, then you have to carry the gospel. Every time Lord made the divine arrangement, praise the Lord. People like to invite me, send me the ticket, arrange my accommodation, respect me, give me the love, and honor praise the Lord. Because I'm nothing, I'm not worthy. But due to my Lord and God, praise the Lord. He, he, he is the King of Kings. So He will give you the opportunity. I disciple other people. Then I then I invite a Muslim inside the church, praise the Lord. I'm going to them, and sometimes I would like to pull them out. Please come to the church. And Mullah was reluctant. This is a, a biggest scholar. He's a mufti there. 
He said, no, your church will really clap and this and that. I said, no, my dear friend, you have to come here. And listen to the Psalm and the Zabur of Hazrat Daud, alayhi salam. Then he gave a good hadith and good reference to the mullah. And finally, I exchanged a Bible and gave a Bible to mullah. And now we are good friends. You can see the other delegation is called uh, Islamic Mission of Australia. Their team came to the church. And they listened my whole message from the Quran and the Bible. And after three years, that mullah one day asked me, I was sharing with you, he said, your name look like a Muslim and Christian mixture. Your first name look Muslim, the second name is Paul. Then I declared my friend, yes sir, basically I was Muslim, but Lord changed my life. Now I'm Muhammad Sadiq Sadiq Paul. So now he's planning to have another sitting with me, and I would like to give my testimony and the reason why I left Islam and Quran. Lord will provide with a couple of opportunities share your life, to share his testimony with us. But if you are ready to go into the situation, in Sydney, my name is very famous. Oh, Pastor Paul liked to go into the mosque. Yes. You know what happened with the Apostle Paul when he was Saul and then Paul? Acts chapter 9, he went to the synagogue. Or synagogue mean their massage, their mosque, like a mosque. He went back to their nation. And he preached that Jesus is the Son of God. So are, we, are we ready to go in the mosque or not? What's going to happen? This is America free country. <laughs> if Lord really will bring me here in future, you will get pereshan then. Because I am here, I am here, I am here, I am here. And we have done that demonstration in Brampton, Canada last year. Went to the mosque and first day people were ready, 40 people ready after my convention. Oh, praise the Lord, hallelujah. We will go pastor with you. But the second day when I got ready, there was only two people. <laughs> in the 38. Oh, pastor, this and that. Frankly, I'm telling you in the presence of God. But I went to the mosque according to Later on, we'll see. Necessarily mission trip to Canada, USA. Then I train people. You can see again Quran here. So Quran is with me. I'm with the Quran because I don't want to leave them alone. So I want to work on that. I was sharing with my friend Muhammad. Must be really very much worried about me. Oh, what this guy is doing now? Every day he is exposing me. That's my mission in my life. Praise the Lord. I will glorify the name of my God. And then a couple of other mission trips, the temple, then the Thailand. And then back to Pakistan, I went to Pakistan. People are hungry and they invited me in different churches, different cities. And this guy, you can see, again, Quran is here. And he's a business from India, businessman from India. His name is Said Murad. And praise the Lord, after 50 minutes only, he stayed to accept Jesus Christ. And then I went to the convention, then our white and black churches, they gave me the two services. And here's the mullah, I went to the mosque, according to my decision. And there were only two people with me, and the left of 30, the people, oh, we are busy, Pastor Ji, you go, we will pray for you. <laughs> my goodness. So you can see among them, I'm not afraid from them, because I lived with them 28 years. So I'm not afraid from them. Sorry, sister. Sometimes I have to go with my own local slangs as well. <coughs> Departure, you can see beautiful family here. Pakistan. Pakistan is Islamic Pakistan. People like to ask, oh, pastor, there's no problem for you. I say, problem can be happen here. 9 11 happened here in a safest country. God is good, praise the Lord. We should go by faith, march by faith. So we are in the good meeting and you can see one of really very good intellectual Muslim with me in my conference in a biggest uh, FTA ground. Uh, Christmas time, you can see again Quran here. Quran is always with me. Okay, please go. And then we encourage this Muslim family and they came to the Sunday service place. When you are ready, Lord will provide you. Amen. 
Ask Lord, Lord, I'm here, please send me. Then I will provide you the spirits and the souls. Now this is a practical thing, praise the Lord. God is here, please. Let's take one thought and please read this and pray. M2N Ministries mean Messiah to the nation. But honestly, frankly, my dedication is towards Islam because Lord brought me, raised me from Islam. So I have a burden and call to bless them with the wonderful good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you can be really a partner with us, comparative studies, training program we have, and reaching out to the other religion, sex in Sydney and other parts of the world. Now I'm in your country and might be in December I'm going to Pakistan and then again next year, March I'm going to Malaysia and then in July here and then in September Canada and I don't know what's the other plans and the purpose of God for next year. And this is a good news. This is, I'm here for the third time, praise the Lord. So I'm not like a really simple preacher and teacher, I'm coming out, praise the Lord, hallelujah, no. This time, I brought a good news, good progress, praise the Lord. I'm making progress. And God is using me as 67th Muslim. This guy is a 67th person who accepted our Lord Jesus Christ to our ministry. Amen. And this baptism happened 27th August last month before my departure to Canada and the USA. And this guy is a university student as well. And it took only three months and finally he confessed and he accepted our Lord Jesus Christ. So please pray for us, support this ministry, be a partner. If I come next year, I can bring the more good news, praise the Lord. I can show you the progress because that was the apostle duty, report to the church. Every ministry comes under the church. That's why wherever Lord is taking me, I comes under the church. My ministry is the ministry of all churches. I want to equip and train and encourage people and the rest of the things in the Lord's hands. So this is the baptism ceremony. And we celebrate it. Praise God. Now the alarming situation is here. Muslim represent the largest group of unreached people on the planet. Over 32,000 die without the gospel every day. Can you imagine? 32,000. But on some day when a person repent, what's going to happen in the heaven? really feeling now. 32,000 people dying one day. And church is peaceful. Believers are peaceful. Hello, Sister Lina. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, you are very happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
क्योंकि हमें सिखाया गया तालियां तालियां किसी मकसद के लिए नहीं बस बजाते जाओ प्रेज सो दिस इज एंड मिनिस्ट्रीज इंटरनेशनल इज अमोलेस्ट इनिशियटिव टू रीच और टू दो
the 7 billion people in the world. You can then see the red portion and the green. Muslim are green. 1.6 billion people. And which is the whole population, the total 23%. And what about the Christian, please? You can see. 2.3%. And all together, 32% and 23%. How much is there? The grand total. 55%. If just we evangelize the Muslim, because I have a calling burden for the Islamic world. So I'm not going to change my vision. In the evening, I can be healer, and afternoon, I'm the intercessor, and the morning, I'm the teacher and preacher. No, I just will really focus my call the Lord has given me the Bible. So overall, it's a grand total, 55%. If you just you reach the Muslim, how much we, the people can be in the church? The flow can be increased. 55% is a 50%, more than the 50% of the whole population. If we just really reach the Muslim people. Next, please. And the remaining task, status data of the unreached people. This is a really alarming situation. Out of 1.6 million Muslims, 84.7, then 85% are still unreached. So how many Muslim people we have evangelized? You are seeing we are a cornerstone church, we are this church, we are a mega church. You are mega church in yourself. But God wants to see his mega kingdom. And we are doing inward church church. But God wants to see outward missions. The people are hungry. Other sheep are there. And Jesus is looking at you. My people go and take the sheep. And so 85% people still they are unreached. And then it's a more than 1.3 billion. Itni badi tadaad hai ki jinke paas abhi bhi gospel. But hum kaise karte hain? Hum kaise praise the Lord? Hum Christian bahut hain. Aur gospel preach ho rahi. Preach ho rahi hai. To aap apne shahar ka nazar lagayein. How many people until now you reach and you touch? Mera khayal 10 log bhi bada mushkil hoga. बीस लोग बहुत मुश्किल होगा अगर मैं सौ का फिगर दूं तो आपने पूरी जिंदगी उन्नीस साल बीस साल से अमेरिका में सौ लोग को आपने टच नहीं किया तो कैसे ये फिगर कम हो दे आर प्रोड्यूसिंग मोर चिल्ड्रन देन यू अगले साल और बढ़ जाएंगे अगले साल और बढ़ जाएंगे वो तो पकड़े नहीं जाएंगे आप तो हमें ऐसे से चलना चाहिए बस या तेज चलना चाहिए अब देखिए कि एन एस्टिमेट ऑफ ये जो मुस्लिम है थर्टी अगर वो बिल फर्स एक साल में मर जाते हैं या एक दिन में मर जाते हैं विदाउट हेलिंग द गॉस्पल इज इट अ ग्रेटर लॉस फॉर द किंगडम और बेनिफिट ग्रेटर लॉस एक जान का भी मर जाना और खुदावन की कलाम क्या कहता है सेकंड पीटर 39 के अंदर कि वो एक की भी हलाकत नहीं चाहता है चाहता है सब की तौबा तक मौका मिले प्लीज लेबरर्स इन द हार्वेस्ट इज सम रियली रियली अलार्मिंग सिचुएशन टोटल नंबर ऑफ मिशनरीज For the whole world, only 400,000. Four lakh hai. Kitne logon ke liye? Saat Arab se zada logon ke liye. Aur aap Pakistaniyon ke liye bahut bada challenge. Isa challenge for the Pakistani believer. You never ever send a missionary to world is allowed. We are not mission sending church. I'm not ashamed to give you the challenge. You are in America. It's for yourself. There's your prosperity. But it's not a profitable for the kingdom of God. God doesn't care. God has no interest with your own promotion. So, 4,000,000,000 missionaries for the whole world and total missionaries for 1.6 billion Muslims are only 42,000. And if you divide further, you can see the biggest statistics here. Only that means one missionary is for the 5 lakh people, 500,000 people ke liye, eight missionary Muslim ho ke liye. Aur agar 100 gente ka bhi dhe no, 24 gente 24 hour ka nahi, aur sari zindagi bhi wo carry on kare chizon ko, to he cannot beat the numbers. So where the people will go without gospel? Only there is one door pointing towards the heaven and he is a Jesus Christ. If they are not accepting, is they are not receiving the gospel, where they will go? Without Jesus, where they will go? 
hell, are we happy or sad? What is sad or is sad? If we are sad, then you have to take decision. Not look to her. I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to go to my God bless this woman. And this is the first time, praise the Lord, people are thinking and praying for me, and I offer my life because I made my commitment in the four parts. Lord, if you save me, I will be your witness. I'm ready to go for Islam. And I'm missionary towards Islam. But what you can do, you can be a partner with me. We can see many missionaries. That's why in my ministry, we have a two system. Equip the believers, train them, mobilize and challenge them, and then evangelize the nation. I'm doing the two parts. I'm not making church, but I'm serving the churches. So what church should do with me? Church government, as a whole church, we are all at the church. Church government should do what should do with me? And what will happen? Lord will open the gates of the heaven. As a nation, God will bless us, because we now we are going to become a mission-sending church. हम खुदा के लिए लोगों को बेचने में लोग बनेंगे। प्लीज की बात बस। The challenge क्या है? Ah, less number of the missionaries for the Muslim nation mean million of Muslims do not get the gospel. It also means that the target to reach every Muslim remain unmet. This is the challenge for today. एक मिशनरी क्या कर सकता है? बहुत से Religion kya the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Matthew 9, 7. You can see the initiative to reach the other sheep. Reaching out Muslim remain a big challenge. So become a part of this unique mission to which can support us so that the gospel could be taken by M21 Muslim International. Please remember us in your good place and your concern and your support. Thank you. Now, जी ये बंद कर दें। अब थोड़ा सा हम कलाम को पढ़ लें। Please, ठीक है? I'm going towards the final touch. There are two things which is important. Important. The how or why. For anything. For example, how we have to communicate the gospel with Muslim. And there is another word. Why we have to share the gospel with other Muslim, other people. So, which one is important? Which one is the basic? How or why? 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 Because every one like to ask why we have. Why God compelled us? Why God sent us? Why God commissioned us? Would you like to know the reasons? Let's go with the word of God. Genesis 1 27. Genesis 127. Please read this. Only one verse. Genesis 127. Anyone please read. God created man in his own image. God bless you. You are really scared to read the Bible. Thank you, Samantha. Only this is the smallest portion. God created man his own image. What does it by mean? Man. Was he Muslim, Christian, Hindu, Christian? Just a human. Man, human. And do you believe the Muslim, the lost one people in this, but the other sheep, they are included in the image of God or not? Hello? Yes. 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 वो कंपैशन जीसस का नहीं आ रहा कि हम उन्हें सीरियस ले सकें हम कहते हैं सांगो मार देंगे हम उनको बचाने के लिए तो मुस्लिम इफ यू बिलीव द मुस्लिम आर क्रिएटेड आल्सो इन द इमेज ऑफ गॉड इस मीन दे आर इंक्लूडेड इन दिस वर्स द हिंदू द सिख द अदर पीपल एंड देर देर इज अ वन एनदर वर्स इन द 
uh, in the Bible, John 3.16. It's a very famous verse. What is there, John 3.16? No, no, I think uh, I would like to read correctly. Uh, it's written, For God so loved the Christian and Jews, and he gave his one son and only son, that whoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Is it written there? What's written? Muslims are included in this world? Or? Yes. And you have to make a complaint to God. Why, what? God, why are you loving them? They're not good people. But it means God has a different mindset. He's not like us. <coughs> if they are in the image of God, if they are included in the agape love, and they can come to Christ, then see Matthew 4.19. If in these two verses, Genesis 1.27 and John 3.16, they are included what's in the Matthew 4.19. Come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Many peoples are lost one. They are wandering. They are there in the world. And Lord commanded us, come follow me. This means if you are not catching the men, if you are not the fishes of men, we are not following Jesus. This is a reverse commentary. This is a reverse exegesis of this verse. What would you would you like to say? No, no, we follow Jesus. But where are the? You are not the fishes of men. If we follow Jesus, praise the Lord. Lord will bring the soul to you, and that's why Lord enable us to bless these sixty-seven Muslims with the power of the gospel. So following Jesus being, Lord will make you the fishes of men. And then, 2 Peter, 2 Peter 3, 9, please. Anyone can read. 2 Peter 3, 9. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise. As some understand, slowness is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone come to repentance. What's a God? What's a God's agenda? He wants to let people die, perish. What's his desire? Are you children of God? Which child can be like his father? It's a simple example in your family. If the father is good, so which child can be like his father? What should be his character? You don't say anything. You don't say anything. You don't say anything. Sometimes you don't say anything. You don't say anything. You don't say anything. You don't say anything. Because you are not doing the same. Your father was very good, but you are not looking like your father. और इधर यहां क्या लिखा है कि वो हमारा जो बाप है वो क्या चाहता है वो एक की भी हलाकत नहीं चाहता बल्कि चाहता है कि सबकी तौबा तक नौबत पहुंचे बिकॉज ही क्रिएटेड एंड मेड देम इन हिज ओन इमेज दैट्स व्हाई ही हैज एन इंटरेस्ट इफ गॉड इज आवर फादर आवर इंटरेस्ट शुड बी द कॉमन द सेम आज का बोझ क्या है आज का बर्डन क्या है व्हाट यू आर रिसीविंग इन दिस Apostle Paul ki ek prayer hai, Roman chapter 10 and first two verses 1 and 2. Please read in your Bible, Roman chapter 10, verses number 1 and 2. Brethren, my heart desires and prayer. What's the focus of our desires in the prayer? Frankly tell me. Okay, ta hai, bhai yo. میری خدا سے کیا التجا اور دعا ہے اب جو دعا اس کی سننے والی رسول کی it's a wonderful prayer لیکن ہماری دعا ایمانداری سے بتانا کیا ہوتی اب سنیے اس کی دعا پر یہ سمانتا پیس برزن میں ہاتھ دیزائر اور پرائے تو بہت پر اسرائیل اس راکھ دیم میں بھی سیف کہتا میری دعاوں کا مرکز میرے دل کی خواہش کیا ہے 
کہ اسرائیل جو سخت ہو گئے ہیں اسٹونی ہارٹ رکھتے ہیں دے کین بی سیوڈ اب آپ پتا اسرائیل اور مسلم دے ہیو دا سیم نیچر دے ہیو دا سیم ایسپیکٹ آف دیئر بلیف دا سیم بلیف دیٹ ہیبری اینڈ عربک از اے ڈیوائن لینگویج دے آر ویری ٹف دے آر جہادس دے لائک ٹو کل بٹ پلوس کی ڈیزائر کیا تھا پریئر کیا تھی اور ہماری دعا کیا تھی خدا ہم یہ سوسی تیرے خون کی بارش کو مانگتے ہمیں بچا ابھی تم یہ بچائے گا یار کتنی بڑی تم یہ سو مسیح یہ نہ شیمپو پا کے دھوئے گئے پاجی صاحب یور الون یو بیٹ ٹاک یہ پاجی صاحب کیونکہ مشنری بندے نہیں اس واسے وہ اور پاجی نہیں کہنا تیرا میں بندہ بس کرنا کہ صاحب کیے دیا بٹ پریز اگر میں جب بھی آتا ہوں پاجی صاحب کی محبت ہے مجھے کہتے ہیں ضرور آئیے اللہ میرے پاس ٹائم بھی نہیں ہے پھر بھی کہتا ہوں تو میں بھی ان کا حکم مانتا ہوں میں نے کہا بھلے دو دن کے لیے جاؤں گا تو یاد رکھیں ہم کہتے ہیں ہماری تو ہم کا مرکز کیا ہوتا ہے ایمان گھر سے بتانا خدا من جی بس یہ نوکری لگ جائے کہ نوکری لگی پھر تو بھی کیا نوکری میں کوئی نہیں کرا میری دعائیں لگی نا نوکری نا کیونکہ پہلے بھی کوئی نہیں کرنا تھے بات بھی کوئی نہیں کرنا پاک روح سے بھر دے مجھے پاک روح سے بھر دے مجھے میں کہا پھر کی کریں گے کہ نہ کرنا میں کچھ نہیں دے میں کہا تیرے نام تے گبارا اچھا ہے یا اٹھ جانا یا اٹھ جانا پر میں تو بات نہ تو کھٹنا ہے نہ تو اٹھنا ہے دیر از نو مومنٹ ہر دعا ہر ڈیزائر اس پر آر سیل دس از سیلف اورینٹڈ پریئرس وی ار ڈوئنگ ایم آر رائٹ ہیلو گائز اپ گائز ہو یا بندے ہو گائز انگلش میں پاکستان میں گائز گائے ہی نہ مرے گا سسٹر جسٹ آئی ایم میکنگ دیم ہیپی سو گائے ہم پھر یس گائے بچے گائے پھر ہم پریشر بھی ڈالتے ہیں کہ میرے جیسا بندہ کو اسٹیڈیس آیا تو کہتے ہیں تو آپ یہ کریں گے تو میں ڈبل یہ کر دوں گا تو میں بھی تو ادھر سے آؤں بٹ آئیے واپس پلوس کی دعا کیا ہے آمین اور ہماری دعائیں کیا ہیں وہ کہتا ہے میرے دل کی یار اب میری دعا یہ ہے کہ اسرائیل والے بچ جائیں آگے پڑھیے کیا دیکھیں and the knowledge of God. So, Yesu Asi Jo Hai, He is a fullness of God, He is a knowledge of God. And who will deliver that knowledge to them? Now, what is the quality of God? What is the quality of God? Now, God is going to change your heart. Are you ready? کسی کو کوئی ویزے شیزے دی گل سنا دے میرے سی لیڈی میں دیکھیں نے کیونکی لیڈی کار لیڈی تو چلا پا دے کہ دل چینج ہو جائی دے مل پڑا مسئلہ ہے تو خدا اگر آپ کا دل چینج کرنا چاہتا ہے تو وہ دعا آج کے بعد کون سی ہوگی کہ خدا بند یہ اسرائیل والے یہ اسلام والے آ کیا پائیں کہ بچ جائیں کیونکہ ان کے پاس خدا کی غیرت تو ہے مگر خدا کی سمجھ تو we are children of God We make them knowledge it. We make them understand it. We can make them worthy. We can make them good. In this way, you are going to support American security system. If you are going to share the gospel, it means you are making people peaceful. You are taken out from the frustration, from the depression. And in their frustration, they are doing negative activities. They would like to ready to die and kill the people. But if you would share the gospel with them, it means you're going to de-radicalize them. And that sort of people, your nation will be. America can be a safer land when the gospel will be preached. No other weapon is there. Only the power of the gospel can change the mind. As a proof, as an example, I'm standing here and I'm testifying his power, praise the Lord. I was against Jesus. I was ready to die and kill others. But Lord,
not change my life. But somebody sent me the literature, someone gave me the Bible, someone took me to the church, and finally, I'm a changed person now. So what portion do you want to do? You want to send them the literature, give a Bible, and bring them to the house of God. That's our duty only. We are not going to kill him. Please accept Jesus. Otherwise, we're going to kill him. No. <laughs> Just you bring him at the doorstep of the house of the Lord. And then say to God, Lord, this is my goodness. I'm under here. But the rest of the people here. So, what portion do you want to select? Sharing the gospel, literature, and invite people. And don't give up. Please ask them again and again. So I think we should stop here. It's uh, next really the techniques how we can share the gospel with Muslims. If you allow me, I can proceed more. Otherwise, we can pray. I don't know about the time. What's your program? If someone wants to go, they can. Yeah. No, no, please don't go without prayer. Yeah. And I will shut the door now. <laughs> I have spoken a lot. How, how long? No, 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 no. I don't want to speak more. But just come getting the vote. If you are really okay, I can speak more. Otherwise, we can pray. Then next time. So uh, because I have spoken, I've done the labor. So now you have to fill the car. <laughs> you have to pay the donation. Okay. Are you happy or worried? Happy. Oh, praise the Lord. Good. My sister is very. What's your name, sister? Don. 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 So Jesus has risen already. Praise the Lord. So what's your decision now? You're gonna you stop or pray? What's your decision, please? Audience? Would you like to listen more or we should pray now? We can meet another time in future. <laughs> How many people they like to vote? Give me vote, carry on. I stop. Stop. Just sit down. I have to work work early, so okay, no, no, we should stop. Okay. But can I get a card or take a picture of the card? No, 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 ma. I would like to hand over. Okay. Because if you delete, you can delete.